Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the X-Play Fan Channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of the, uh, the game, The Moose Man. Uh, games like these are usually hard to uh, kind of quick taste because a lot of the stuff is, uh, it's very much based on like the story and everything. So if you have any interest in this game, uh, go pick it up. It's actually really interesting. Uh, it's very story driven, uh, kind of uh, 2D side, uh, side scrolling walker kind of game. However, it's got some very, uh, dare I say, trippy visuals, amazing 2D artwork, um, pretty great music, uh, very inspiring in places where it's, uh, it needs to kick in and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you're interested in at all, uh, check it out. Uh, go pick it up. Anyways, that's kind of your warning. But uh, this is a, a uh, kind of a game where you play as this kind of shaman guy. And I believe it's, uh, and I'm going to probably say this terribly, I had to look it up. Uh, these, uh, these, these, your journey across these lands are heavily inspired by the Finno Ugric lore and the Chud tribe, Chud tribes of Northern Europe. I had to look that up, kind of figure that kind of stuff out, but it's, uh, very interesting. And I might actually, after this, go and kind of look that kind of stuff up. But, uh, as you, as you understand, uh, there is, uh, it's mostly story, but a lot of this is, uh, you're also solving rudimentary puzzles going left to right. Uh, some of the places are, uh, a lot of it is uh, very, uh, stri like, again, striking. It's very intense at times. And I'm, there's a chapter select, so I'm going to show you some certain places that I found very good. But start at the very beginning, uh, so you can actually see the main hook of this game. Uh, a lot of the story is delivered via this kind of, uh, kind of things. I believe the first time, uh, First time through, I wasn't uh, fully paying attention to it, but uh, the gist of it, from my understanding, is you're kind of going through like the uh, first going through the underworld and doing these other tasks. So uh, one of the main things is uh, it's just going left to right. So as you can see, it looks fairly normal. Uh, but once I hit A, or once I get to a point, once I can hit A, it'll a lot of stuff changes. And here it is. I can see spirits. And this is a continual motif throughout the entire game. It's very striking at times, very beautiful. Uh, and it's used to do, there is some uh, very minor puzzles where you're uh, following patterns and stuff like that. Uh, you're kind of, there's places where you're usher, like, hey, I can't get past here in this world. So I'm gonna switch on back and kind of go back here. Uh, at one point, there was a uh, like a very minor puzzle where, like, hey, I have to avoid a bear, so I'm gonna push this button to hide when he wakes up and get back up, and he'll chase me, and I'm flipping flipping between the uh, universes. As you can see here, without the spirit vision, I just fall. Uh, you can you uh, you can hold the D-pad, or uh, sometimes hold, double tapping right works, but not all the time. Not a big complaint, but I am a massive fan of how this game looks. Uh, the story, when I uh, got read into it, because you got you collect pieces of lore and stuff. I'm not going to open any of these, but there's also like, hey, there's these artifacts and stuff. And you're like, hey, like this is stuff that's based on real, like weird, cool, like this stuff is awesome. And if you're into this kind of stuff, there's like there is so much there's achievements attached to it and all that kind of stuff like hey like this is like i chased this t like there's like this evil creature in here that i lured out to some guard like spirit guards outside of the village and they killed it so this is the uh first little puzzle you're kind of going through so you gotta kind of wait till he goes to sleep but like hey if i enter the spirit realm i can also see him here like oh he's getting up Got to kind of hide and wait. Go back to sleep, and we're just gonna keep going. Do 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 do. Oh. And then after this is a really good place to kind of show uh, the like how crazy this game can get. So once we get past him, he kind of he's gonna go. Ah, rawr, rawr. Not that exact sound. But he's gonna kind of get back on up and be like, "Hey!" And this is probably the best example of like the light puzzle solving kind of stuff. 
And off we go. So I can't walk past those while in that spirit realm, but I can walk past this in the spirit realm. So you're kind of shifting back and forth quickly to just stay just outside of his reach as he comes for you. And then once we get over here, we're going to kind of just pop off and fall into the underworld, apparently, from what I understand. Uh, there are collectibles, like as you can see over there on the far left. Uh, here's another method of the uh, light puzzle solving. So this is a, uh, a mountain. It's like, oh, I can't get over here. But if I see the spirits, I can kind of kind of coax them into helping me out, following me around and doing light puzzle solving stuff. In all honesty, when I first started this game, I thought, oh, well, it's going to be a long kind of side-scrolling walker game. I was in super pleasantly surprised or very much proven wrong. This is, I really enjoy this game. I enjoy how it looks. The story is pretty great. And it's like, like, I, I'm kind of into like the weird mythology kind of things, but they were like, like there's this giant pike fish that was chasing me at some point wanting to eat me. Uh, there was this dude with like a raven mask on his head who was trying to slap me out of the sky and had lightning everywhere. It was crazy. Also, so how am I going to get across here? We're going to ask this worm monster to help us. Or are we going to kind of coax him over to... I fought a giant spider at one point. It was crazy. It was great. Like, I really like the weird stuff that is real. Or based on real stuff. It's I love it. So now we're kind of going into the, oh man, like wrecked ships and stuff like that. We're going to start encountering like enemies, quote unquote. These uh, poor soul, oh, down I go. These poor souls and all these kind of things, which I think is very striking and amazing. But I'm going to go a little bit more here and then I'm going to show you the... Uh, there's a specific puzzle and moment that I think is pretty amazing. It's like all these poor people. And he got me. But anyways, I'm going to go to the the uh, moment I was like, huh, this, this, this game is... So you have a chapter select. So where is it? There you are. So after a little bit, you get you get kind of through this area. Like, oh, I can't really get through here, so we're going to kind of get this guy to follow me. So he'll he'll hold on, he'll sit on that switch and I can go on through and but uh, this is kind of the moment where it got to me and I'm like, wow. So you're kind of walking out here like the cave paintings usually come alive and stuff like that. But uh, this is where I was like, this game has something going for it. All this, this is very quickly what the motif of the game turns into this crazy walking through what maybe purgatory or some crazy thing happening the entire time. And I'm super in love with it. The game is not super long. It's maybe about an hour and a half, maybe an hour. Uh, the achievements are fairly easy. Most of them are tied to getting through. There's a few tied to puzzles and uh, collecting but uh, just alone, just what this game offers is amazing. But uh, this is The Moose Man. Uh, it is out now on Xbox One. I recommend it. If you are into kind of like strange lore, uh, stuff like that, mythos, it's amazing. The art style is amazing. Uh, the puzzle solving isn't too crazy. Uh, later on, they in, uh, introduce a sort of uh, defense mechanism where you kind of have to activate it to ward off enemies but it's nothing crazy but uh this again uh i find the most striking thing about it is just the stark like black and white like this kind of cave painting kind of thing just going on and i actually think this is a another crazy moment coming up we'll just kind of meander our way up here so don't acknowledge him don't worry about that but this is a, another good moment of, hey. So now I'm kind of, uh, 
So now I'm kind of controlling this person. Uh, if I hit A, it stops. I can only adjust it in the spirit world. So we're going to kind of spin this. And line it up there. Go to this bottom one. Line that up. Go over to this guy. And I'm going to leave this off for you guys. Uh, I'm Zero JD. This is the X-Way Fans channel. Check out our other videos. The Moose Man. I super dig it. Uh, again, it's not too long, so it doesn't outstay its welcome. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Zero JD again. The XBLA Fans chan ch channel. Have a nice day.